Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we are going to be adding just a little something to the challenger behind me. Uh, this product is from Lux Auto Concepts. I will link a description in the video description down below. And also remember, anytime that you're gonna be buying anything on Lux, use code MEANB392 to save yourself some money at checkout. Plus, it kinda helps support the channel, and that is greatly appreciated. With that being said, also remember if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Also smash that thumbs up and drop a comment down below of what you thought of this product or if you've used any of their products and what you've thought of them as well. But Lux Auto Concepts makes personally the top quality, the best vinyl that you can get. They don't only offer it just for challengers or chargers. They do Jeeps, challengers, chargers, pickups all kinds of stuff. So if it is something that you're interested in, in any kind of a tail light tent, uh, any kind of graphics, any kind of vinyl, they have a lot of options. So definitely go check them out. This is not just specific for a challenger. They offer a lot of stuff. Amazing company, amazing product support. All in all, just can't say enough great things about Lux, but they are truly a great company to deal with. But I'll bring you in and I will show you the tail light fades that I'm gonna be doing, how they come, uh, basically what you wanna do, a few things that come with it, and then I'm going to do, because you can you can mix this up, that's the great part about it, is you can do whatever, whatever your heart desires, whatever look you're going for. You don't have to do uh, one thing specific, you don't have to do it just like I am, but I'm gonna show basically doing just an inside and an outside, one on each of the tail lights, so you can see that basically you could just do the outsides or do just the insides, uh, you can do insides and outsides. They also make vice versa, inside or outside. Uh, it's just another graphic, but instead of a fade, it's a hard line. So it's going to basically, you're gonna have, instead of your complete circle around the tail light, it's gonna cut the one side off so it's a straight line, and then it's gonna fade into the other. The options are just endless. The looks that you can get are endless as well too. So you don't have to do it one specific way like I am, but let's take a look at what we got. A few things that you need to do before the install. So right here as you see it, here is the two tail light fades. Label passenger, inner, outer, same with the driver. So this is how it's gonna come. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get them flat with your squeegee, get them stuck onto the transfer paper. In the kit, you're gonna have your prep spray, which is just an alcohol and water. You're gonna have this green squeegee along with a microfiber towel. You're gonna to need a pair of scissors, that is not included. And then this is just a bigger squeegee that I've bought and purchased from Lux. Uh, it's a little bit nicer, you get a felt tip, a little bit bigger, so that is also very handy. For these, that bigger squeegee is not necessarily needed, but basically, right here as you see it, this is how the kit is going to come. And then you're just gonna take your green squeegee and just rub over all of it to make sure that it is on the transfer paper. Once you get on the transfer paper, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut out all along the inside and outside, basically outlining this tail light fade so you have less material to work with with that transfer paper so you can bend it and just kind of mold it into what you need because these tail lights are kind of concaved. So coming in on the driver's side inner, you're gonna come in with your prep spray. <clears throat> you just wanna make sure that your surface is clean for that vinyl to stick so it has a nice clean surface to adhere to. So just spray it down, come in, wipe it off. Make sure you don't have any oils or from your hands or anything left on the surface. Once you have the surface prepped and ready, if there is a bunch of contaminants or anything nasty in there, you may need to come in and use a little bit of a clay bar, but I don't have any of that on my surface. So now it is ready for us to go ahead and come in and put that fade on. So basically you're just going to cut out the tail light fade, just like I got it there. That is gonna be your easiest bet. You wanna get all this material removed because you want this to basically be able to bend so you can manipulate it within the tail light itself because it is very concaved in here. So with that material out of the center, you can bend it and manipulate it very well, very easy. So you're gonna kinda of hold it up, see where you're gonna need it. You can peel all of the backing off if you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel half of it off. I'm gonna do the bottom so I can make sure the bottom is straight and lined up. I'm just gonna cut the excess piece off, I will show you. I'll get that stuck down, I'll come in, remove the top of it, and get the top stuck down. And you'll really have to work this inside corner. I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see it. It's actually very cool to see this vinyl stretch. This vinyl does have, you can see it in person, it's hard to show it on camera, 
has little diamond shapes in it so that helps remove the air bubbles out from the vinyl which is super super cool making it so user friendly so that is one very cool thing about Lux's vinyl along with a lot of other cool things about it but that is one really cool thing is it makes it so simple for the user so as you can see I have basically cut off just a little bit of the the paper there so I'm going to come in basically get this lined up where I want it as long as you don't put a lot of pressure down on this vinyl to get it stuck super good you can move it and peel it back up if you're real careful and easy with it so that is something to note and know uh, but just basically come in get it lined up where you want it and go ahead and start getting it stuck down Basically, I'll just come in with just a little bit of easy pressure, and then I'll go ahead and remove this part. You're going to want to make sure that it stays stuck on the transfer paper, which they all did. And then I'll fold this up, and I'll get this lined up as well and leveled out. Once I get it on there where it looks level to me, then I'll just come in. You're just going to come around the center, apply a nice amount of pressure with your finger. And you're basically going to work around the center out. It is going to stretch this vinyl and lay it in onto the tail light. Once you get to this outer edge, you're going to want to work it really well with your thumb or your index finger, but right here it's starting to stretch it out around here. I will reposition the camera so you can see what I'm talking about, but this stuff works and goes on the surface so easy. So right here you can see the shape of the tail light that I was talking about. This vinyl is basically stretching around and you just work it with your thumb like that and it's going to lay right in just like it needs to. Look at that, it'll take, it'll take the shape very easy. So once you got it all rolled in, there's not any wrinkles, you can feel that it is very smooth because you just work it nice and easy, just a little bit. Once you get it laid in like that, you're gonna wanna go around and put some heavy pressure. So you can use your squeegee at this point if you'd like, or your finger. Uh, you can also use a blow dryer or a heat gun. If you're using a heat gun, be very careful so you don't melt it. Use a blow dryer basically helps make this vinyl take the memory of this shape right here. So you can go ahead and heat it uh, once you peel this transfer paper off the back. But I'm just going to come in, apply a bunch of pressure with my thumb. Also some heat from my thumb, just from making sure that it is stuck. And then we will peel this transfer paper off. So just like so, you're going to come in and peel this transfer paper off. One thing to note is you're going to want to go at a very sharp angle and go very slow to make sure that you're not peeling any of that vinyl up along with it. You can see right there, not a big deal. Just go ahead, fold it back over, put some pressure on it until it will stay stuck onto the surface.
So just like that right there, that transfer paper is off. There is a little bit of an air bubble right there, but you can just go ahead just like that. It'll press right out with a little bit of pressure. So you're gonna to wanna to go back over. You don't wanna rub this. You just wanna do downward pressure. You can take your microfiber towel, put it between your hand and the vinyl if you'd like. But you just want to make sure that everything is stuck on and then go ahead and come in with your blow dryer or heat gun or just park it out in the sun just to get some nice heat on it to make sure that that vinyl is going to stick and take the shape and the memory of this tail light right here. This is on the passenger side, so that is the inside. So that is going to be the look that you're going to get. So personally, very cool. You can leave it just like that. You can do another one on the outer one. So it's just all diffused. That's what I'm gonna do, that's what we will see. And as I mentioned, you can get one that is just cut off flat. So basically, you're gonna have the tail light will be cut off just like that. And then you'll have the diffused part on the inside. Vice versa, very, very cool. This is a very unique look. I think it is very cool. So right here, you can see how that vinyl just blends in. Yes, I do have the tint on the tail lights in the center, but that black vinyl just blends in really nice all the way around the bezel of the tail light. It doesn't let any light leak through whatsoever. Just a nice blended in look. Absolutely loving it. But this is what the tail light is going to look like in the daytime. So you are gonna see it. Kind of a cool, unique little look. And then coming over here. So in the daylight without the lights on, that is what it's going to look like with it on. We still got more to do, more Lux center tail light divider they make so much cool stuff but i just absolutely love how cool and the different looks you can do with just something so simple as vinyl all right so real quick it is all done here's how it's going to look in the daylight with the fades they look really nice it all blends in really well and we'll just come in for a closer look as i showed before they blend in really really nice they look super good Let's get the lights turned on and see how they look. So right there is a good shot of how these fades look. So that is the inner and outer fades from Lux Auto Concepts for the 2015 and up Challenger. Personally, that looks really, really good. Absolutely digging the way this looks. All right, so there we go. There is the tail light fades for the 2015 and up Challenger from Lux Auto Concepts. Remember, if you're going to purchase anything from Lux Auto Concepts, use code MEANB392. That's going to save you some money at checkout. That is my thanks for you. Being able to help you guys save some money on some really, really cool vinyl like these tail light fades. Uh, I have a lot of vinyl on the car from Lux. But the install is super easy with the air release technology. Putting those fades on, not hard to do whatsoever. I would say, honestly, anyone could put those on themselves. Uh, yeah, you might mess one up, but it's not the end of the world. They're not that expensive. But as long as you take your time, you don't stick them down and press them down super hard, you can reposition them. I did have to completely remove one that I was lightly pressing some pressure on the bottom of to kind of move it over a little bit. They are very, very user friendly. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Remember, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload if you're liking the content. Remember to smash that thumbs up if you like the content. Also drop a comment down below. Look forward to hearing what you guys think about this. Let me know if you use any Lux Auto Concepts products yourself. What have you used? What have you done? And what have you thought of it? But thank you all so much for stopping and checking out this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. And until then, take care.